We've been working at White Sands National Park since 2016. It's a multinational group composed of researchers from Bournemouth University, but also researchers from America. And what we've done is, is we've created this incredible window into the past. Our excavations have shown uh, the relationship between humans and extinct fauna on the landscape. And in exploring the site, we have discovered that some of the oldest footprints in the Americas at the moment, in fact, the oldest footprints in the Americas, date to our site at White Sands at 23,000 years, which is a time where the ice sheets basically were at their maximum. We call that the, the last glacial maximum. And it was previously thought that humans were blocked in Europe, not able to travel down to into the Americas until after that ice sheet had receded. But we have discovered that humans must already have been in the area prior to that glacial maximum because the footprints that we have at 23,000 are when um, the ice sheets were at their greatest extent, which means the humans arrived earlier. We thought that the humans could only travel down after the ice sheets receded, so around about 12,000 years. And so for a long time, many of the sites were, were thought to be capped by that maximum um, age when, when the, the ice sheet, uh, the ice-free corridor opened and the humans were able to travel down south. Pushing the age back to 23,000 and possibly older shows us that humans arrived significantly earlier than the die-off of the megafaunal um, species such as the giant sloth and the and the um, the mammoth, the Colombian mammoth, the dire wolf, etc., etc. So it helps us understand um, the co-association of humans and these extinct megafauna actually occurred over a longer time span than we thought. It may well be that the humans were harvesting these megafauna as part of their, their killing and their hunting more sustainably in the earlier years and potentially through time as the populations grew the balance of power shifted and the humans started perhaps over harvesting these, these megafauna and that might have contributed to their demise.